know that uh, because we're in court over this issue, we know that the court's not willing to protect the forest. The court's not willing to step in and demand that the governments that are responsible for letting out the permits are going to be responsive to protecting something for the future. And so right now, it's not only our future, those of us that are sensitive to the environment, but even the timber industry. A lot of the loggers don't really understand. Maybe they do and maybe they're ignoring it because right now they're concerned about employment. is really targeting to educate them as well as ourselves and also mainly the public. And as Kurt said, this is a peaceful gathering. We're not here for any violence and we do need volunteers. You know, we want to make sure everything flows. And so uh, Kevin Corrigan and his colleague Kevin have a list. We need people to make sure that the picket line's moving fairly, constantly. We don't want to stop and sit down in the middle of the road. Just keep rotating. There's something for everybody to do. And if you'll step forward and participate, we're sure that you can help out. Like I said, we also are concerned about making clear, concise statements to the uh, public. And so if, if you are a representative of an organization and you do have a statement, let us know so that we can help identify you. You know, everybody's uh, uh, voice is an important voice, but we want to uh, try to maximize the benefit of the message that's going out all across America. This is where the public's really going to be that we're going to reach. And uh, we are emphasizing that there will be more protests and it is going to escalate because clear cutting is not going to go away. If we think it's going to be one action and then we're uh, um, missing our own sense of who we are in regards to the importance of what's taking place today. It's going to continue and it's going to get more extensive because there's not enough left as it is. And so uh, anybody that's willing to help us coordinate, again, uh, we hope that you'll step forward. I either talk to Kurt Russo or Kevin Corrigan. They are here and they will help um, uh, coordinate. I don't know, we do have Jim Plaster here. He's an elder and he knows the importance of the forest. We have with us Councilwoman uh, Juanita Jefferson. Uh, she's very much a cultural and traditional person and helps guide us. And we also have Councilman Vern Johnson here representing the uh, Lummi tribe as well. And so we're gonna ask them to make a few statements to each and every one of you. We hope to uh, keep them short so that we do get to the site. When we get there, uh, if anybody from the uh, Sheriff's Department shows up, uh, we hope that uh, he or she will listen to our statement. We hope that one or two other women will approach them with maybe our Councilman Juanita Jefferson, explain to them uh, what we're doing and hopefully that they won't turn in, uh, antagonistic towards us and actually will cooperate because this is a freedom of speech exercise and they shouldn't really feel uh, threatened by that. If they do, we'll have to pay attention to what they're saying and maybe uh, we might have to move on, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see how it turns out. And so uh, this is where we're at and at this moment I'll ask uh, Councilman Vern Johnson to uh, make a message, say a, state, a few words. Thanks.